everyone, it's Kai. I'm going to explain the integration of ACF with RPG into inventory kit. Uh, the integration steps themselves are extremely easy the way I'm going to show them, but for the uh, if you want to go the way that the documents of the RPG inventory goes through, it will be the same. The only thing you don't have to worry about are the references for the mesh references and the character references or as long as your character is a child of an ACF character these will work this uh, as you get it it will work just the same so uh, what you'll get is this I already extracted it and you just have to copy it inside your content folder So let's launch and see what what are the steps that you need to take. So the the steps that the step the simple steps that you can take without going through adding the components on your own which you can do just the same the only difference if you do that f that way is that you need this specific logic in your character pp this right here what's in red you'll need these two functions and you need to bind this here this is the o event on character death is an acf character event so you could just call it whenever you want event on character death and you'll find these functions on death and handle movement change I will go through a video that explains all of this stuff in length I have tried to do a life coding session of doing this I was four hours in it was just part three I was like 75 percent out and nobody wants to sit in and watch for five hours or more than five hours just how to do this so uh, I thought the best way will be to find a way to allow the author of RPG Inventory Kit, which is very nice of him, to allow us to share this through him. So uh, everybody who owns this will be able to get it, this through the uh, RPG Inventory Kit author. And you, don't, you have to have ACF installed. So uh, I have, for my case right here, I have uh, ACF as a... A local plugin I added it as a local plugin because in the case that you are using <coughs> the classes from the plugin itself the sample doesn't really matter in the case that you're using the classes from the from the by that I mean if in the case that your AI are all children of NPC character and your player characters are all children of ACF player character if that is the case all you have to do is go in here and reparent this guy to the PP RPG inventory character and all the functionalities of the inventory now is in both the AI and the character in the case that you have uh, I don't know uh, let's take the case of those that have my uh, integration of the ALS integration in that case there is a uh, another C++ class that is solely for the player so you can you can absolutely go through putting the components like I said putting the components locally and then adding that logic in the character in the parent class and the character of your uh, of your uh, of your player and simply reparent the AI or you can add to both the AI and the player if you don't want to add another class in the mix and uh, yeah you can do that you can even duplicate this guy you can even duplicate this guy and make a one of them apparent for the AI and the other one apparent for the player and it will still work just the same uh, that's for the 
general setup and how to get it to work. The last things, your your uh, your anim blueprint. In your animation blueprint, this is what's going to change. Using an item now, you're going to have another one called use item RPG action. Okay, let's edit the defaults. Um, common actions use item, so use item RPG action. So this one will allow you to pick whatever you want, uh, whatever slot you want to use the item from. Pocket one, pocket two, pocket three, pocket four. Uh, you can equip anything it's the same so this is using this is for drinking potions and whatever so potions go into the pockets uh, and the equip the equip we're gonna go here we'll also change it to use item and we're gonna go with weapon I do recommend that you uh, wait I did not I changed this because this, this, this is getting okay um, this is gonna go weapon I do recommend that you change shield to secondary weapon the name of the slot because that's more fitting you can add more of them uh, that that doesn't make it any difference uh, just so just so you know that if there is a secondary weapon on you then uh, the moveset of your character will be set to that the moveset of that secondary weapon And for ranged, we'll just go with the shield one for now. Right now, as you can see, it's already specified item slot, ranged weapon. Uh, but in here, the item slot will be specified in a Ninu, and it will be shield. Oh wait, did I switch the melee again? Yeah, S1 has to be shield. Equip range. Use item, uh, equip range, use item, and it's shield. Okay. And other than the those that use item in the moveset, okay, this is the action. I do recommend, uh, I did this, I left one action that I didn't do because I do recommend everybody to watch the video and understand this because if you're going to work with ACF it's very worthy to have this knowledge of how things connect w together. There is the shoot action BP that I did not do. I will do in the tutorial in the I will do that one in the video of the explanation at the end of the video of the explanation I will do the shoot action BP and uh, the attack action we're gonna go with the attack RPG and in the default you're gonna choose if it's right left weapon whatever uh, this is the physical damage trace this is a variable that you can change on uh, on section name, if you use the action, uh, the, the actions on, on section name, if you use that, you can um, change the section, change this, demonstrate which trace to trigger from the physical ones, depending on which section it is. So if you have uh, like a montage with a right punch, left punch, and then, I don't know, a foot, you don't want to activate all the traces when you do a right punch you don't want to activate all the traces so you can name them accordingly and set this variable to whatever you want inside the PP uh, for now I'm gonna leave it to right weapon only which will use only the primary weapon and uh, that seems th that's pretty much it I'm going to jump into the map I'm going to also keep my character as 
I will keep the player controller, I will use the player controller of the RPG one which has already been switched to be an ACF player controller uh, I will keep the complete player because I reparented everybody right now and I'm just gonna go to the bots and I'm going to give them some starting equipment so we'll give them armor and one armor and I'll give them a sword Okay, uh, just so you know that I did not go through all the items in here and add like uh, stats modifiers or like don't expect that all the potions for example will do exactly what you expect them to to the ACF uh, because I didn't really go through all of them. I uh, Just a couple of them were there done as an example but uh, the explanation video I will try to cover exactly what is different but uh, to the simplest way of it to 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 explain it is that you just have to go to the data tables and set each weapon to do whatever each item to do whatever you want it to um, let's go to the blueprints no uh, item data data table and let's for example I don't know uh, consumables uh, we have big health potion it has a stat modifier so I'm gonna add that one here a stat modifier um, RPG stats health it will give me an extra 200 HP okay this is the big health potion I will make the bots also have big health potion in their initial equipment uh, this has nothing to do with the setup the setup is already done I'm just uh, showing exactly how you would use it for you and for the AI Sorry about that one. Okay, I'm back. So where were we? Uh, I think we have set up almost everything and we were going to try to play. Let's see, they have... Oh, they still have their ICF weapons on them. Let's take them off. ICF sample, equipment component. We don't need none of this. Okay, let me get some stuff. Oh, I still have my stuff too. Uh, does not matter. I should equip the right weapon, yes. Uh, yeah, first time when I, I started an editor and it does that. So these guys are equipping the He's equipping the that weapon, he's doing damage to me with the inventory kit weapon. Well he keeps missing though. Hey. Dude, I'm right here. Why Okay, uh did he did enough damage to me? Let me let him do enough damage so I can I can drink that health potion that he's gonna drop me. Okay, can you help him? Well, he's stuck outside now because the nav mesh does not allow him. Okay, no, no, that's enough. Okay. Okay. Let me drink my potion. You can't touch me here. So, let's check my potion. Uh, 
was it number two yep there we go 200 HP added all right so that does it for how to add this to ACF and use it um, then I want to also mention this again if you want to do the adding the components on yourself you can completely do that there's no issue with that whatsoever as long as your characters that you're gonna use this with our ACF character it will work exactly as intended uh, one last thing I want to mention for uh, for those who have my ALS integration I will post a video also on how to integrate this with ALS because uh, like I said I, that integration falls into the category of having a different C++ class for the character than for the AI so all of the other solutions that I mentioned of copying the class adding the components those are still your options you can't just reparent one class like here but you can duplicate it and reparent it accordingly if you want to um, that does it for that should do it for the video I want to give a big shout out a big thanks to uh, special to my biggest supporters uh, TC Mabe and Robro thank you guys so much and all of my patreons I really want to thank you because guys I wouldn't be even able to do this to spend my time trying to figure things out trying to make them work perfectly exactly as intended for every to help everybody I cannot spend all my day doing that if not for your support and for your help so thank you guys very very much and I hope you stay well stay safe and I will see you on the next one sky signing out bye bye